Greetings, thanks for joining me. Today, we're looking at the Gokstad pack. Talking about the Gokstad, quite an epic story and an amazing find that you can see with your own two eyes today. The Gokstad ship is on display at the Viking Ship Museum in Oslo, Norway. It was discovered back in 1880 by the sons of the farm owner of the Gokstad farm. There was some local folklore in that area for burial mounds. Um, who knows what the, what the rumors were. Um, but with knowing that, those sons were digging and they discovered a bow of a ship through frozen ground. Uh, it took almost a decade later for them to start doing a uh, formal excavation. Um, what's interesting about that ship is that it's very intact. One theory is that it must have been raided for grave goods in ancient times. Um, there was no silver discovered, gold, or weapons, which is pretty unusual for a ship burial of that magnitude. Um, there was one male um, that was buried in it, guessing between 40 and 50 years old. He was also buried with 12 horses, 6 dogs, and 1 peacock. Um, some of the grave goods were varied, but some of the more notable ones was 3 small boats. I'm not sure how big they were. Um, I'd like to learn some more about that. Also a tent and this pack. Well, it's also theorized to be a pack. Um, no one really knows for sure when we look at these kinds of things. Um, there's really just two panels that they discovered, which I'll go ahead and put a photo of that up right now. So you see on the panel, we have an animal carving on it. Um, they're all about centimeter thick oval discs and they had the bottom one had holes drilled in it so they think that that could have been for upright supports it could have been for straps um, and we don't know for sure exactly what the body of the supposed pack was made of could have been leather um, wicker or even birch bark it's a little bit contentious as to this being a bag itself um, one of the reasons they do believe that it's a bag is that the oval shape makes it pretty easy to carry on your back as opposed to a completely round um, basket that wouldn't be as ergonomic for wearing on your back. Um, some other theories, and one that I've heard, is that it could have been for meat. Um, makes some sense if you're curing meat, perhaps, that you need it to be protected, yet not airtight, so you can dry it properly. So that's also possible. So here's the Gokstad pack. Not insanely big, but not small. What's always funny about taking this thing to events is people think it's a laundry basket and it's not wrong. I store my food in here, um, all of my cooking utensils fit in here, just a lot of different things and it's, it's such a convenient rig. I'll now include a photo example of what the reconstruction was um, done by archaeologists. So I'll go ahead and include a photo of that right now. So here's the pack itself. The solid wood base drilled out for the supports for the wicker. I added some straps myself. They're fitted up with some bronze rings and stitched with linen thread. Sorry for the focus. And some adjustable straps are on the bottom. So these laces can be undone and we can just go ahead and adjust our straps. So once again, this is an interpretation. This whole body could have been wrapped in a face of leather, fabric, um, even like I was saying, birch bark. Really interesting. A lot of capacity. And wearing this on your back is just, it's super comfortable. And we got to fit up with a little bit of a leather thong here with the Viking Age glass bead, also Norwegian. Now this is made by Slater Basketry in New Hampshire, United States. I'll go ahead and put a link to their Instagram and their Etsy page and perhaps see if they're still producing these. I'd love to make it to the Viking Ship Museum one day um, and it would be real great to walk in there with Kit with this on my back. Such a great thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Gokstad pack. Um, look forward to some more videos in the future and thanks for joining me. We're going to see you next time. I'm out. <laughs>